I, I've been listening to the stories of success, and uh, thank you, um, Mama, thank you. Um, you know, a community is built by people like this, like leadership from your MP, like young people that make courageous decisions to set themselves apart and, and, and not give in to the radicalization. And we can talk about a great country of Kenya. We can talk about the continent of Africa. But Kenya will not be a great country and would not be if it wasn't for great communities like this. And sometimes when you're serving in your community, you think, what difference am I making? Because the day was difficult. Because the challenges of the day seem like you would not be able to overcome them. But you need to remind yourself that the challenge that you overcome in the day is what changes your community. And your great community will make a great county, and great counties will make a great country. And, and so many times I, I give people my vision for Kenya. And sometimes I think my vision for Kenya is greater than some Kenyans. And that's why when it comes to social media, I, I don't tolerate people that are not positive. In fact, sometimes I push back a little bit, don't I? Yeah, I do. <laughs> but I don't, sometimes I don't think Kenyans, they won't respect you if you don't push back a little bit. Because they're fighters and they want to see a little fight in you. But my vision for Kenya is that it is no longer just a beneficiary of foreign aid. But instead is a benefactor for the rest of East Africa. My vision for Kenya is that people come to this community to learn how to do it right. That they come to Kenya to learn how to do it right. And I believe that Kenya has everything that it needs to be the example for the rest of East Africa. Do we have difficulties? Do we have challenges? Do we have corruption? Yes, we do. We cannot ignore that. But there's something special about the people of Kenya, and that is, I use the word grit, G-R-I-T, grit. They have that toughness, that ability to overcome. Despite the challenges, they have the ability to get through it and succeed. And I believe that's where the entrepreneurial spirit comes from. People have always, they always ask me, why, why is, are Kenyans entrepreneurs? I said, yes. I said, look, they can take rubbish and make, and make it something and sell it. I mean, that's the Jewish kind of, that's the way, right? They take something that somebody threw away and they, they turn it around and sell it to someone. And you see, I have great respect for that because I'm an entrepreneur as well. And uh, so I, I believe that there's such a great future ahead for Kenya. And that future is because of this community and communities like this. So let me just say to each and every one of you who has been a contributor to this, thank you so very much. Because the next generation is worth your time, it's worth your leadership, it's worth your discipline, it's worth it. Because the young, this next generation, we have to give them opportunity. And we have to give them an example of integrity. I ask people all the time when it comes to BDI, if you could be guaranteed that your leadership had integrity, 
What would you change? Most people say nothing. Most people say nothing. And I think you have examples of leadership in this room that have integrity. And the young people of this community, and I'm looking at you, you have to make a choice. Whether you're going to be part of this culture of corruption, or you're going to say no, and you're going to have integrity. And, that, and let me just tell you this. If you're talented and smart enough to steal a billion shillings, you're talented and smart enough to earn a billion shillings. Um, I know you are. But let me just help paint the picture for you. There's a future for you. You're going to be the ones that make this community great. You're going to be the ones that make this country great. And I know through the investments of your leadership today, they're going to give you that opportunity. And uh, I do believe that Kenya will become the model for prosperity and freedom for the rest of East Africa. Thank you for what you're doing.